What's up guys, it's your boy Wilson here back with another video and as you can see in the title, it is going to be my third video on the Skytech Gaming PC that I have. Almost two months ago, I bought a PC because I decided that I wanted to play games. We're stuck in a pandemic. I'm bored out of my mind. So I decided to buy a budget PC. When I say budget, it's specifically my budget at the time, which was about a thousand dollars, a little over because of tax. I wanted to build my own PC. That was the original plan, but it didn't turn out the way that I planned at all. Instead, I came across this Skytech Gaming PC from Best Buy, and I decided to go for it. If you guys wanted to see the other two videos that I previously posted for more information in regards to the box opening or for FPS benchmarks on certain games and just to see like the specs in general, please visit those videos. I'll leave the link in the description below. This is strictly an update video and I'm basically going to be providing some insight or some information that I've come across within the past month. I am not sponsored by Skytech Gaming whatsoever. Please note that I do not have an extensive knowledge about PCs in general. I've been getting a lot of help from supporters and friends, okay? So I am no expert whatsoever. This is specifically my personal opinion and it will be up to you guys to decide if you want to get it or not. You should be doing your own research. Do what's best for you. Don't take my word for it, but you can at least get some insight from what I have to say. Alright, so here are the pros and cons. I'm going to start with the pros, obviously, because you guys want to know why you should get this PC or why it's a good idea. It is a great gaming PC. When I say great, it's great. I used to play games at 60 FPS and it was okay, it was tolerable. But with this PC, you could play so many different games at the max quality settings, such as Call of Duty Warzone, Modern Warfare in general, uh, Valorant, League of Legends. Those are just a few that I play personally. But you could play other games like Minecraft, Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege. Make sure to do the research as well to see if it's compatible to the games that you want to play. You could simply just type in the graphics card, the RTX 2060 Super and the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 processor and just see what games you could play with those. Um, it was simple to use. Opened it out of the box and just plugged it in and got it to work immediately. Comes with Windows 10 and all I had to do was update it and there you go, it just got started from the get-go. Another pro is that it just simply looks clean and super fresh, it's beautiful. I love the RGB lighting and everything. It's cool how you can change the color settings by pressing the RGB button and it just looks super nice, you know, tempered glass in the front. I know a lot of uh, PCs have that, but it's just my first one, so I'm just totally in love with it. It's a pro to me because it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a simple PC that could meet the standards of today, like in the gaming society. Just wanted to play games with friends and it worked out perfectly. Another pro is that it's cheap and it's just at a great price, especially based on the market value today for PC components. A lot of my friends who actually build PCs and are very knowledgeable, they could agree that I got this for a really, really good price because if you want to build it individually, it'll almost total like the same amount of money. It's just at a great value that Skytech Gaming is selling these PCs for. But other than that, let's move right into the cons. These are not exactly flat out cons because I don't have many problems with it in general, but it could be skeptical to go for this unknown brand, especially if you've never heard of Skytech Gaming. A con could potentially be the CPU's fan, which is the stock fan. If you guys are looking for a PC that won't burn out or anything, you might want to get a new stock fan because the one it comes with is not the best. If you don't want the temperature for your CPU to go really high, like let's say 80s to 90s, then it's best to just get a new fan. I haven't replaced mine at the moment, but I'm definitely considering it. I have not seen my PC get to 100 degrees Celsius, and I hope it doesn't. I'm probably gonna switch it out before it even gets to that. So even though the PC comes with a mouse and keyboard, I'm perfectly fine with the keyboard. I like it even though it's membrane, not mechanical, but the mouse wasn't cutting it for me. I, I don't know how expensive the mouse is whatsoever, but I decided to just use a separate mouse and I'm currently using the Razer Viper mouse. So if you guys want a better mouse, use something else. 
other potential cons, even though it doesn't affect me, is the power supply. Power supply, from what I've heard and seen, it's the Thermaltake 500W 80 plus white. Now, what is that? I have no idea. You can look it up, but a lot of people say that you can definitely upgrade it. Another thing to mention as a potential con is that it only comes with 500 gigs of memory through the SSD, solid state drive. So if you guys are heavy big time gamers, you'll probably want more space because there's big games like Warzone, which is like about 200 gigs on its own. I don't play many games, so I'm in no need of getting another memory drive. Moving on to things that I believe you should know about the PC. Thanks to my supporters and those who follow me, I've heard from them and I was able to see some things that I should mention in this video. Some people have had problems with Skytech Gaming's PC, the ones that they've gotten. Not everyone's PC is the same, obviously. If you refer to the link in the Best Buy link in the description below, you'd probably be getting the exact same PC that I got. Whether or not you did, this is what I heard from some people. Some people have stated that the RGB lights are not working or did not work for them and they had to either return the PC or contact Skytech Gaming for support. That's very unfortunate, but I'm letting you guys know that there have been some cases in which things didn't work for the PC. Not only has it come to the RGB lights, but also the graphics card was not working, which is insane. I don't even know how that looks like, but this happened to Andrew and he said Skytech Gaming was not very supportive. They were pretty rude or something. So I don't have firsthand experience with that. I don't work for them or anything. So that's very unfortunate, but I'm sure everyone has a different experience. So hopefully they could support you if anything goes wrong. Not only that, I also heard that some ports weren't working in the back, like the HDMI port or something. So that's also something really unfortunate. Again, like I haven't experienced this issue myself. You can also check other reviews to see if anyone has come across these problems. Do your own due diligence and see what works for you. Please know that there are many, many different builds, all right? We could have the exact same model PC, but it doesn't mean that we would have the same components like graphics card, power supply, you know, processor, all these things could be different. So when you're looking up the PC that you want to buy from Skytech Gaming, make sure to carefully look at the components and specifications before you decide to buy it because it might not be the same. I've had some people say, oh, you could have bought it at a cheaper price on Amazon or something. But once they've sent me the link or I looked into it, they were different parts. You know, that's why price varies. It really depends on the parts that are put together to have this PC. I'm just gonna show you a snippet of how to work the RGB lights for both the PC and for the keyboard. If you guys wanna know how to turn off the RGB, just hold the RGB button and it will turn off. Ta-da! You could keep clicking the on and off button to make it change colors or just to turn it off. But if you hold FN and press it, then it will start alternating colors. Also wanted to mention how someone told me that there are no extra SATA cables. So if you're trying to insert a new hard drive or solid state drive for more memory, you're gonna have to buy an extra set of cables. Another thing, I just wanted to show you guys how I maintain my PC and keyboard and monitor, like how I kind of clean it. It's nothing big, it's still brand new, so I don't expect it to be really dirty or dusty, but this is what I do. So my friend gave me this color coral thing to clean my desktop and keyboard, for example. So it's like this slimy, gooey looking thing. It's literally just slime. You literally just rub it all over the keyboard and it'll collect the dust for you. It will not get stuck to the keyboard. It does the job, you know, that's what you want. When it comes to purchasing a PC, you should thoroughly do your research and make sure that you're getting what you specifically want. Bottom line, do your research. All right, and that's all I got for today's update video in regards to my Skytech Gaming Shadow PC. Hope you guys really, really enjoy this video. Please smash that thumbs up button if you guys like this video. I would totally appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe, especially if you're new to this channel. 
I'm on my way to 400 subscribers. I really, really want to get there. So please, please, please help me out. And that's a wrap. Feel free to give me any other content ideas or just tell me what you want to see in future video. Take care, stay safe. There's a pandemic going on. Just be healthy, guys. See you next time.